Hey there, thanks so much for watching. Today I am going to do a tutorial in Canva and how to make a mock-up. So instead of using the computer, I'm using my phone and open the Canva app uh, for this tutorial just to show a different way where you can make mock-ups really quick and really easy. At the top you'll see here that I'm kind of shuffling through um, the layout. I'm going to choose a logo and I'm going to click on blank. This just seems easy when making mock-ups because the square is a little more true to size and I don't have to do as much cropping. Alright, so at the bottom of my app it shows some categories that I already have saved and I'm going to click on my mock-ups. Uh, it's just an easy way to keep all my mock-ups organized. And um, let's pick, um, let's go with the blue in here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger to fit my page, move it around, make sure I have it sized up correctly. And now we're just going to add the design in. So back in my folders, I have a section for grandma um, designs that I use for my t-shirts. So let's open that and grab blessed grandma. And all you're going to do is size it down to fit on your shirt. You want to make it about the same size that you print with um, from your printer. And I'm just going to resize and line it up. And I zoom out to make sure it looks right. And it's pretty much that easy. Sometimes the mock-ups have really cute um, design elements to them. So I'm going to show you another way to do your mock-up without zooming in so much to where you crop off those elements. Take a look at the bottom right of the screen. The circle with some numbers in it. That's how many pages that you are working with. If you click on that number, you can see all of your pages and you can add pages and take away pages. So I'm going to add another page and start blank. And what I'm going to do is go back to my folders and grab another mock-up shirt. And this time, let's go with the, let's go with the pink one. And I'm just going to enlarge it just a little to where the width comes all the way across my page. But you can see that the tennis shoes in this image are not being cut off like they were when I enlarged it in the last one. And now we need to add our design. So I'm going to go back to my folders, to my grandma folder. And let's grab most loved grandma. Once that pops up, I'm just going to size it down to where it fits on my t-shirt as if I would be printing it. And I like to zoom in just to make sure it looks even and it looks lined up and not too big and not too small. There are a couple of ways that you can save your image. What I'm going to do first is um, screenshot it and open it back up on my phone and then just crop down the top so you don't see that white background and make sure the only thing that you see are the t-shirt and the cute little background. And on your phone when it pops up just click save to photos and then you'll have that handy if you want to post online or post on your social media. Alright let's try a different type of mock-up. Let's go back to our pages and add another page and this time on my mock-ups let's grab um let's grab a let's grab a coffee cup mock-ups are a lot of fun because you can use a variety of different images and items i'm going to go ahead and make this um, picture the width of my page and i'm going to give it just a little bit of height just so I don't have to crop later. It'll fill in that white blank spot up top. And let's um, go back and add a design and we'll just stick with the grandma theme because we have a lot of cute options there to choose from. All right, and let's click on the grandma heart that I have. And once that loads, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to size it down and line it up on the coffee mug. Usually I will zoom in like this, 
click on the design so I can move it up and down. And if your design ever shows up um, behind your mock-up, you can always click on mock-up, click on position, and move it forward or backward. That way that'll bring your design to the front. And then I zoom back out, look over it, make sure everything looks even. And at the top of the page on the right, you see that arrow pointing down. That means to download or save your image. So if you click on that, it'll save all the images that you have created in that section. You don't want to save all the images from your section you're working with. You can just screenshot it and then crop to cut off the extra edges so you only see that your image. And that way you don't have to download maybe three or four pictures that is in your entire section. I hope this has helped with learning how to do mock-ups in Canva. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will be glad to help as much as I can. Thanks so much for watching.